One of the biggest questions that I think has been around since basically the start of the game, it's like uh, one of the most controversial perk arguments, and that's between Iron Grasp and Agitation. Uh, if you would have looked at both perks a few weeks ago, like maybe a, about a month ago, uh, you would have said that Iron Grasp was the best because it was the percentage of increased time was around like 44% at level 3 and so recently it got nerfed to 12% at level 3 for increased wiggle time which is much more balanced and after that it became not as clear which one was better and so I have finally decided to look into the stats because uh, if you haven't seen it already, the Wikipedia page for uh, Dead by Daylight at Gamepedia has been really updated. They have a lot of stats there that I found really interesting. And so I'm using those to validate which perk is better now. So the first thing we want to know is the standard wiggle time which is 16 seconds that is the fastest you can wiggle out if there is no perk involved iron grasp at level 3 increases this time by 1.92 seconds we could say 2 seconds but I'll be specific with 1.92 which means that it increases the time to a total of 17.92 seconds that doesn't seem very significant but just keep listening uh, every killer has the same carrying speed, so don't think it's like different for the nurse because she's slower normally or anything. Every killer has the same speed when it comes to carrying a survivor. <laughs> the carrying speed of a killer normally is 3.68 meters a second. The carrying speed of a killer with agitation is 4.34 meters a second. And that doesn't seem too significant either, but it is and you'll see why later the extra distance that you're gaining with iron grasp because of the timer being increased is seven meters about that it's a little bit over but it's it was basically seven meters and that doesn't seem like much because it's not it typically would not be the difference between hooking a survivor and not hooking a survivor, but in some cases it is. The extra distance that you gain with agitation in the end is 10.56 meters a second. Whenever I first heard that, or well not heard that, whenever I first figured that out, I was relatively surprised because I thought agitation was a clear um, contester of Iron Grasp. I thought it was clearly the better perk. But I see now that you're actually not gaining much more from running agitation over Iron Grasp. And we learned in the second most recent dev stream that agitation is getting buffed. We don't know what agitation is getting buffed to, but with that buff, it'll probably become the more clear pick to go with. So, in the end, agitation still is better, but Iron Grasp, you could run it, and you really wouldn't be missing out on too much. Plus, you'd be getting that 75% reduction to the... Um, penalties that your killer's body actually receives whenever the survivor wiggles, which is just a quality of life, but still nice. And so, really, as of right now, both perks are nearly neck and neck. Uh, I will show more of the... Um, math that was done on the screen for those of you who want confirmation. I will show all of that uh, 
it was really cool to figure that out because it was such a surprising result. Uh, not really that long. I just was so enticed by these stats. Uh, I wanted to make a video, and I think I'll make more videos now with um, them being actually based on stats to give more genuine videos. So I really look forward to being able to do that. Uh, but that's it. Let me know if uh, you thought Iron Grass was uh, better than Agitation. Maybe you still do think it's better. Or maybe now you think Agitation is better and you didn't think it was. Uh, whatever you think. Uh, that's really all I've got. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll be back. My Terminators.